Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast for Wednesday, December 28th, 2005. I'm Bill Jellin. Today we're going to talk about building a formula that will allow us to see sales over quota. Today the manager asked for a report showing every day how much each sales rep exceeded the quota. Now on a day where the sales rep sales did not exceed the quota, he wants to show zero instead of a negative number. So my current formula of D2 minus C2 works on some days, but on the days where sales didn't exceed the quota, I'm getting a negative, which is not what we want. This is the first time in the podcast where we will have talked about using the if function. Equal if allows me to calculate two different possible formulas based on some sort of a condition. In this case, the condition we want to see is if sales were greater than quota, which is D2 greater than C2. Put in a comma to move to the next section, and now we put in the formula that we want to use if that condition was true. If the condition was true, we want to see D2 minus C2, another comma, and we put it in the formula to use if it was false. Well, if sales didn't exceed quota, we just want to see zero. So put a zero there, enter the formula, double click the fill handle to copy it down to all of our cells, and you see that we get the right result. Here in row five, where Joe did not exceed quota for the day, we get a zero instead of a negative number. Now, most people use the if function to solve this problem. But it's also possible to use the max function. The max function will compare two or more numbers and return the largest of them. And so my solution is to take the max of D2 minus C2 and the number zero. In the cases where sales exceeded quota, that'll be a positive number and we'll see that. But in other cases where D minus C was negative, it will be less than zero and max will just give us the zero. This formula is actually a little bit shorter and you'll find a little bit faster. Well, thanks for joining us. Stop back tomorrow for another tip from Mr. Excel.